Hello. Today I'm a special type of pressed for time. Hello, my name is Chantelle from Chantelle's Probably Sorry. Whew, it's going to take me an hour to watch this, and in an hour and a half, I'm leaving to go to the airport to go to another state. So I'm a little bit, and I'm not completely packed, so I'm a little bit pressed for time. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to what this episode is going to hold. Expect it to be badass. I'm standing today because my room is messy and the camera would pick all that up if it was a little bit lower. So. <laughs> why, why does this do this to me? I hit play. God damn it. I just said, I said, I'm pressed for time. Episode is like, oh, you're pressed for time? Let's not work. <laughs> Do episodes usually start right on commercial? So look, everybody. I had a to-do list. Like, I had four different to-do lists, and there's just a whole bunch of, yay, I've done what I needed to do. Um, let me write down one more thing so I don't forget it. Close window. Let me do that now, because I know you can hear that big machine out there. My name is McGann Morris. I'm the last daughter of Mars. Is she coming You're back? Mars. I wanted to be your friend. You are my friend. I'm going back to Mars. Oh, She's coming friend. back! This is my planet. <laughs> These are my people. Superman, what are you doing? Ray, what did you do? And I will not let you harm them. Rhea. <laughs> that my planet was riddled with the corpse of yours but not only green kryptonite rained down from the skies there are so many more ways to harm your kind than to simply is that silver kryptonite? silver kryptonite doesn't that make you paranoid? your cousin is so much like you reckless, stupid barreling headfirst into danger I couldn't have set a better trap if I tried I see you he sees his worst enemy you should have stayed away, Zod. Your carcass will lie dead at my feet, kal -El. And the people of this planet will kneel before me. Cal, listen to me. Wow. Can we not? <laughs> I'll stop you forever. This looks cool. Oh, this is a train wreck.
because I don't read the comics, but I know something about the comics. In the comics, isn't Supergirl like 30% stronger than Superman? Or is that just false inf information that I've been given? Hey, follow me. Come on. I'm missing the caramel scene. I should probably rewind it. Sky! She plugged out my, my, my amp. Rude. Now I gotta rewind it yet again. I am pressed for time! The lighting is beautiful. And then she beat yours. Hey, Lena, babe. <laughs> alcohol? Was that alcohol? That test will blame me for what's happening outside. I wish. You let that woman deceive you. What you taught me was to doubt myself. To look so for validation Irish. elsewhere. So much that I was willing to take it from the first mentor that offered it to me. When you came to visit me in jail, I honestly wanted to be a better mother to you. Every time I've had the opportunity to choose you over something else. Doc, I'm or No. No, no, no. No way in hell. There's no the option we've got. Is that like some type of poison directed towards Dax's? The weapons of the Dax and my ships are charging up. Guess we'll see. another attack. Supergirl, champion of planet Earth, invoke the sacred rite of Dakam Or oh. to meet with you in single Trial by combat, combat before the gods. May the fate of my people rest on the fate of my life. We okay. duel in four hours. Ah. I assure you, it will be your last. Okay, but well, hold on a second. Okay, what just happened? Why is it that every season finale ends with um, Kara slash Supergirl? literally risking her life like oh yes <laughs> why don't I just carry Fort Ross into outer space even though I cannot fly or breathe out there yes I will die yes this is a suicide mission let's go for it and then over here trial to combat I'm assuming to the death what is this <laughs> all right I got shit to do you know what this is iffy territory because for some reason because of the fact that Superman and Supergirl were created in the time that they were and they were meant to be, well actually Superman was created way before Supergirl to my knowledge, um, uh, were meant to be staples of morality, that's why Superman, it's kind of his thing and Supergirl is kind of this thing where they don't kill people. And so, I mean, it is kind of iffy because is she gonna kill Rhea or is she gonna be like beat her down to a pulp and be like I'm not gonna kill you I am better than that mercy <laughs> why am I like this or is she really gonna kill Monel's mom she wouldn't kill him would she I don't know it's not to the death is it shit we'll see they all go they are bound by ancient law to oh. leave this planet in peace she's not gonna win but what if she does? It's not to the death. Do you know what will happen? Oh, are they gonna call? Please, God? Sean, wake up soon. We need you. It's my baby. It's my baby. It's, it's true, my baby. You have to wake up. Is she really there? How'd she get back? <laughs> Need you, Sean. He's trapped. A great fight is coming. Everything will be fine. Now wake up. Oh, thank God. The century as Supergirl and Rhea Jackson face off in a trial by combat. You mean to tell me no one knows the car is Supergirl? Never on the line. His dispatches have no teeth. Where's the hook? Where's the lead? Where's the stats? And where the hell is my latte? I've been typing for 12 hours. I need caffeine. I need carbs. I need a... <laughs> Clark Bar. Oh. Cat. Oh, you do love danger, don't you, Clark Kent? Yet another reason why Lois made no sense. Do you think Supergirl is ready for this? Oh, she is. Well, great. But I put all my chips on the girl of steel. She told me she now, is. Now, you go out there and right. you tell Supergirl that we are all rooting for her. 
amount means but seriously is it like actually a trace amount okay i mean if you do he's been exposed to our yellow sun for a few months if it comes down to it you use it that's no that won't be the reason this planet suffers no it's very noble. no it's not going to come to that we will not have to use that device what did i say and i'm going to beat her what if they end up having to use it anyway mother's going to leave I know that she's not going to want to use it.
This is a tough decision for her to make. like a trace amount but like okay are they gonna find a way to get him on out to stay um by like I don't know doing something to his blood beats me I know he has unbreakable skin no he doesn't he's not bulletproof but I know in the first episode they tried to stick him with the needle and the needle broke that is a Horrible allergy. Whoa. Oh no. No, no, please, please. Oh, there's nothing to do. The entire atmosphere's been affected. How long does he have? I don't know. A few minutes. Oh no. No. Alex, uh, do something for me. No. You're okay. I've got you. No, don't talk. No, I thought she was gonna have to watch him die. I'm not fond of- There's something I need to say. Alright, I'll just listen. I'm gonna be there because of you. You'll be in my heart. I promise I'm gonna be the man. Because you thought I could be. I promise. You made me so happy. My reaction to that, I'm kind of neutral on Monel. Um, I think I might have said this in an earlier episode, but like when he first got here, I thought he was very funny. As time wore on, he became a bit annoying, and the things that he would do in relation to Kara were just like, you know. It, it, he was never a character that grew on me. In fact, it was a bit of the opposite. But now it's more like a neutral thing. It's like, you know what, he's here, and I'm happy that Kara's happy. So, like, you know, even if I don't like the character and don't necessarily think the dynamics of their relationship are 100% okay, I do think that they had adorable moments, and I do think that she was happy with him, and they were happy together. And so, I mean, that matters. It matters that she's happy that's one thing that matters I you know relationships are complex and in terms of characterization writing relationships can be complex I might have to pause it nope and so you know I I was like I didn't want her to have to see him die I didn't want that and I didn't you know I just think it's very sad that she was happy and now she's going to be upset and that I mean he was happy to, and I think I'm glad that he at least took something from his experience here on Earth, even though for some reason I don't feel like the show is going to actually get rid of him. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. But I'm at the same time, though, though I am glad he's, he's learned or, is, you know, was in the process of learning and did some very noble things. I'm glad about that. Really glad. Um, it, it also is not the purpose of a woman to exist simply to better the character of a man? That's not what women are here for. <laughs> I'm not saying that you can't learn stuff from people, it's just that's not the purpose of having a woman as a love interest simply to build your character. Anyway. You okay? Of course. No, you're not. I did the right thing. That is true. I'm humbled by you. I'd like to think that if it came down to a choice between Lois and the world, but I don't think I could. You are so much stronger than me. Stronger than I ever will be. 
That is true. In the kindest way. So I'm glad you're here, Brown. Of course I'm here. You and Brown Norman. There are a lot of us. We're trying to change things. Make tomorrow better. In the old world and the new. Is she back? How no. did you know to come? Your mind cried out. I felt you fall away. You needed me. And if we didn't come out of sense of duty. Transplanetary bond. Yay! Finally! Oh my god! I didn't realize I wanted that to happen until it happened. Oh. Yeah. Baby John, space dad, has has a there was a hmm. moment this year where I felt completely broken. When I regretted a choice that changed my life. Coming out. And then you yeah. forced yeah. your way into my home, wrapped your arms around me, and you said, I'm proud of you. It didn't make me feel any better at the time, but it was something to hold on to. Do it. I am so proud of you. Do you, do you want me to stay over tonight? I mean, I can be there as long as you need. No, no, Chloe, it was your girlfriend. I need to know you two are happy. Like, I want to know about when and Lyra. This is gone. sad. Part of all this. It's not. Let her go. Okay? I feel very bad for the situation. I feel very bad for Kara that that happened in their relationship. Be okay. Oh, this is adorable. I hope so. I know the Danvers girls who don't break easy. Very me. What? Excuse me. What? Seriously? What? Very me. No way. I literally dropped my paper and caught it. Organization Cadmus claims responsibility for ridding National City of Daxamite invaders, returning peace to Earth. What? Fake news, complete crap. What's wrong with your face? What, do I do I have something? With that frown. <coughs> it's called the city has been saved from that fashion challenged fascist, so why do you look like your world is about to end? <sighs> it's uh if Kira Danvers has a boyfriend? Oh, a year and a year can I miss everything. <coughs> a boyfriend. Oh, for the first time ever. I really like someone. That's Love tragic. Someone. It um, hurts. Like hell. And everyone close to me in my life is in a happy relationship. This and is what I didn't want I to thought see. I could have that too, but I'm starting to think that maybe it's just not in the cards for me. No. Take it from a woman who has been married four times. Four. Well, it would have been five, but I turned down Rob Lowe. Twice, actually. Well, that's what I said about childbirth. But it did. And it will. Now, the thing that makes women strong is that we have the guts to be vulnerable. We have the ability to feel the depths oh of our emotion and we know that we will walk through it to the other side. Can we please? And by the way, your prose is not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. I miss her. <laughs> Go get him, Supergirl. I'm rushing <laughs>
that will grow strong on her. And then what? And then it will rain. What is this mess? What? 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 What is this mess? Pause. Well. Okay. That was an interesting episode. Didn't quite feel like a season finale. But, I mean, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like Monel's not actually out the picture. And what was that What was that vortex he got sucked into? I want to say it's the Phantom Zone, but would that even make sense? Um, yeah, probably wouldn't make sense. Like, where did he go? I feel like he's not actually gone. Like, I feel like the show's not going to actually get rid of him. So the thing that, um, the thing that Superman was saying about like if it was a person versus the world I don't know who I choose and I don't know if I made a face but I know I jotted it down it's like if it's the love of your life versus the seven billion people in the world you're really going <laughs> to choose that one person even though they're important to you over the seven billion people on the world. I mean, like, if it's your decision, then it's your decision. I'm just like, it's just, I mean, obviously it'd be hard. It'd be heartbreaking. It'd be heart-wrenching. I, I mean, no one's saying that, but I mean, you seriously wouldn't know which decision you would make because you're not willing to push yourself through that pain. Uh, back to Mono. I'm not, if he is really gone, I'm not going to miss him as a character. I mean, he did have some great one-liners and, you know, Stuff like that. And I mean, he was getting there. He was progressing. But, um, yeah, I'm, I wasn't overly fond of him, as I stated. Uh, I'm kind of neutral on him and not going not gonna to miss him. But I am sorry that Kara is in pain. And I'm sorry that he's in pain as well. And, you know, he did, he was putting an effort. But I am so I think that was an unfortunate situation for the both of them to be in. So there is a Sandbrook proposal. I literally dropped my papers and caught them. I'm confused. I mean, <laughs> I was in my, I'm happy. I mean, I'm fine that it's happening. I'm just a little bit confused. It's like, uh, uh, okay, if that's what y'all want to do. I love Sandbrook. I do. I'm very fond of their relationship. And I think that Alex's coming out arc was one of the most beautiful and genuinely acted and you know genuinely written coming out arcs I've seen on television it was really good it was a very good coming out arc and I mean I appreciate that dimension to her character um it's just that was I mean it's fine uh, a side note though that scene was very short like that that there was like they were like on screen together for like 40 seconds and <laughs> and in that 40 seconds there was a proposal just saying that was it I guess I'll be reacting to season three before I react to season three though um I will give some of my thoughts on season two I think it's obvious that they're transitioning they switch networks between season one and season two and I feel like that may have an impact on the show <laughs> in the kindest way possible because I mean there were like different sets or at least the DEO changed from um, a place in the middle of nowhere to a skyscraper in the middle of the street and the for some reason the CW completely ditched the relationship between James and Kara I personally I mean I was just like oh okay this is happening that's cool it's kinda like you know I can I can acknowledge a relationship and be like okay that's cool without actually being like oh my god oh my god it's happening it's happening type thing I'm squeaking a lot let me get off this chair <clears throat> it's my opinion that it wasn't really cool how they did that how they completely ditched that relationship in favor of another one. You know what I'm saying? There's subtext there. I don't know. I I think next season they'll get their shit together. <laughs> Not that their shit isn't already together. It just seemed like the Cadmus storyline was seemed a bit inconsistent and wasn't really clear exactly what the big bad was. And sometimes there wasn't a big bad. And I mean, and I mean, it's just. It was odd the way the way it has nothing to do with the actors. I'm not saying that there's bad acting. I'm saying the the writing this season was a bit, eh, you know. It's like follow through. What are we doing here? But 
Anyway, I have 40 minutes to pack up everything before I have to walk out that door. Anyway, thank you for watching. I think I said all I needed to say. If you do want to see my reactions to season three, which I hope will be a better, um, more consistent, I think. I think there was a lot of inconsistency this season. Uh, so hopefully next season will be more consistent. Um, so I, I, yeah, I will be reacting to season three. So subscribe if you want to see that. Thank you for dropping in. Enjoy the hiatus. I really have to go. Bye.